how you be staying and we back with another fucking video. You know I'm rocking with y'all can't rock on me. Hey, like the video right now, bruh. Like the video right now, G. I stay giving y'all free game. And if y'all want me to keep dropping free game, my nigga, like the video. Do me a favor. I'm doing y'all a favor. Let's get into it. So I was looking at my comments today, right? Like Inspector Gadget. And this one comment caught my attention, right? Because it related to a conversation call I did over the uh, weekend, right? So Mr. Alex Main said, what do you do if a girl caught you cheating? I already know the first thing that most beta most sims do. And y'all know it too. Back like a little bitch. Please. You're going to call her a thousand times? Take me back. I apologize. Nigga, we never bow down to a chick. I don't give a fuck what the fuck you did that was wrong, bro. You never get on your knees and beg to a girl. That's why I don't believe in marriage, nigga. I will never get on my knees for a girl. But that's for a different video, right? So if you cheated on your girl, she caught you, right? Listen, apologize. Admit your fucking wrongs. Be a man. Man the fuck up and apologize, right? Don't send her a paragraph now. Be like, listen, I was thinking on my penis head and on my actual head and I apologize. You're a good girl and I fucked up. Now give her fucking space, my nigga, after you apologize. If I cheated on my girl, she called me. I'm not begging for you, my nigga. I'm going to apologize. I'm going to give you a space in that step. And she's going to respect you now. And her attraction for you is going to raise again, right? Because, like, okay, he's willing to walk away. When a female knows you're always willing to walk away, bro, they respect you. Her attraction goes up here for you, bro. Now she's living in a scarcity mindset, like, oh, shit, I can't lose him. He don't give a fuck. You got to remember, the person that controls any situation or the relationship is the person that give a fuck the least. And I understand you fucked up. You don't want to lose your bitch because she a good girl. Her pussy's good. She's good vibes. She cares for you and shit like that, right? But you're definitely going to lose her by begging and chasing her, bro. And texting her a million times and blowing up her phone. Now she's losing her tracks for you subconsciously. But when you act like you don't care, matter of fact, don't fucking care, bro. When you're nonchalant, it's going to kill her inside. Like he did me wrong, but he still don't care. Girls love toxic men, bro. And matter of fact, you're not even being toxic. You're being a fucking man. You know what I'm saying? I was on a call with a dude this weekend, right? Y'all don't know his name, so it don't be mad, right? He was with a girl for eight years, cheated. She broke up with him. You know, he begged, you know, bought flowers and shit like that. He still hasn't heard from her. And I told him straight up, bro, you fucked up when you begged for her, bro. But he didn't know that, right? Because even me, back in the day, bro, I did plenty of sim shit. You know what I'm saying? Because us as guys, bro, we're taught bullshit about dating growing up. Oh, be a nice guy. If you lose your wife, get her back. Get your girl back. Fuck out of here, dog. Another thing I want to touch on, right? There's two type of girls' reactions when you cheat on her, right? If you're dating a girl from the inner city who got a lot of single friends and shit like that, she's going to react in one way, right? Oh, yeah, you want to cheat? Okay, watch this. I'm going to fuck another nigga. I'm going to do this and that. Look at all these niggas in my DMs. Nigga, once a bitch tell you that after you cheat on my nigga, leave her ass, my nigga. She doing you a favor. She revealing her true colors. Because a real bitch ain't going to play tick for tack, bro. A real bitch, she going to cry like, damn, bro. Why would you do this to me? I really loved you. She ain't gonna curse you out, my nigga. I cheated on two girls in 2020, right? Two situations at the same time, right? After she found out about the other girl, she fucked another nigga. But I don't count it as cheating because we was just talking. And I didn't really care about her, you feel me? And then the other girl, oh, she was crying to me. Like, why would you do this, bro? I really loved you. You're an asshole. You're fucked up. And that was the feminine girl who was from the fucking suburbs. With both parents in her life. But the one from the inner city... Who had daddy issues and mommy issues. Oh, next day in a nigga's room, posting a Snapchat, trying to get me mad. I promise you, I ain't back for her. I opened up Snapchat, my nigga. She posted a snap of a nigga's wall. All you seen was basketball jerseys. I'm like, what? My nigga, I didn't even care, bro. Three hours later, blowing up my phone. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. I had sim days, right? But I was never simp enough to stay with a bitch after she fucked another nigga. And that was the only time I ever dealt with that shit. And I dropped her after that. Another thing, right? If you cheat on a city girl, right? Oh, set the fucking timer. She's getting her get back, believe me. She's getting her fucking get back. Set the fucking timer now. You know what I'm saying? It's only a matter of time. And then when she cheat on you, guess what she's going to say? You did it first. And you can't say shit, bro. You could just call a spade a spade. You're going to be like, damn. All you can do is charge it to the game, bro. <laughs> she got even on your ass. And then after she cheat, a lot of y'all take your girl back like, oh, you know what? It's fine. I cheated first. You know, we're even. Get the fuck out of here. Another nigga had your girl's guts, bro. Another nigga felt how your girl felt. Her eyes are rolling back. It slipped out and she put it back in, my nigga. You're crazy. You don't respect yourself if you take a girl back after she cheated on you. I don't care if it's for the kids, if it's for your marriage. Never take a girl back when she cheated on you, bro. Ever. So here's another thing, right? If you're cheating on a city girl, right? And she got a lot of single friends. Oh, she gonna cheat even quicker. <laughs> They're gonna be putting mad bullshit in your ear. Oh, bitch, he don't love you. Because they hating on your relationship, bro. A man can cheat on you and still love you. I tell my 20 year sister all the time, right? Because she's been with her man for two years, right? I say, yo, your man works, you got a nice car, he make money. 
I said, he gonna cheat on you one day, bro. He's a fly nigga, right? He gonna cheat on you one day. You know, y'all 20, y'all young and in love. Y'all young and in love, right? I said, if he cheat on you once a year, or once every six months, he loves you. But if he cheat on you every weekend, he don't love you. Like, bro, I be keeping it real with my sisters, bro. I'm setting them up for the fucking real world. My mom be getting mad like, oh, why you telling me that bullshit? It's not bullshit, it's fucking facts. Every man I know in my life, father, uncles, they all cheated on their fucking girls at least once or twice. It's our fucking nature. We're not meant to be with one fucking girl. That's that beta male Christian shit. That's why when it's time for me to settle down, bro, I'm converting to Islam, nigga. I'm going to get rich and I'm going to have me like two wives. Two badass wives, bro. Soft, feminine, and genuine. But yeah, guys, if she got single friends <laughs> and you cheated, oh, it's over, bro. Or if she got a cousin, a female cousin, oh, they're going to be in a club twerking in nigga sections. You know, driving a boat with a liquor bottle, all that shit. And guess what? That same night, she'll get fucked by a ballin' ass nigga. That's why I tell you niggas, right? If you got a good girl, my nigga, be smart about your fucking cheating, bro. Cheat out of state. Cheat on a guy's trip or something like that. But don't cheat locally, my nigga. And cheat like once a month or cheat like once a year, once every six months. Shit like that, bro. A matter of fact, don't cheat at all, bro. That's why me, I've been single for five years, bro. I can't be in a relationship, bro. Because, guys, if you ever had a girl generally cry to you like some her shit, bro, that shit will fuck you up. Especially if she's a good girl, my nigga. <laughs> nigga, I don't have girls cry to me, bro. Girls out of situationships like, oh, you a dirty ass nigga, why would you cheat on me? Bro? It's not a good feeling when a girl you really fuck with cries to you, bro. You feel like an asshole, my nigga. So just stay single or tell the girls you're dealing with, right? Like, listen, I don't do relationships. Every girl I deal with, I tell her straight up, I don't do relationships. So I might be seeing other girls. You can take it or leave it. And guess what? They go with it nine out of ten. Because they think they can change me. Girls like the bad guy, bro. And I'm the bad guy. Well, I'm not even a bad guy. Because I don't want a lot of girls. I keep it a hundred. Like, listen, I'm talking to other girls and that's that. You gonna leave or what? <laughs> it is what it is. It is. And they stay because I have a backbone. I'm willing to walk away. I'm not bowing down to them. I'm not begging for them. I have the power to walk away so I control things here. It's like, oh, shit, he's being a man. You gotta have a backbone when it comes to girls, bro. I tell you this shit all the time, bro. Guys, that's why people be commenting like, oh, how you giving out dating advice for your single? Y'all really think I'm in a fucking drought? I know all this fucking game, but I'm in the drought. Nigga, I got on my hunting shirt. I'm hunting down the game and I'm delivering it to y'all. Freshly, nigga, from the jungle. But yeah, guys, if you cheat on a girl, do not kiss her ass. Give her time to heal. Don't beg. And guys, she ain't gonna come back in a day or two. She might, but it might take time. A week, a month, two months. But when you don't kiss ass, oh, set a timer. She's going to be calling you back. <laughs> Believe me. But yeah, that's all today, guys. This is your boy, Hypey Stan. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. Uh, comment video ideas I want to talk about. I see all your comments. I ain't that famous. And Hype Beast out.